Hello everyone, I've uh, got builders coming, so I'm not sure how long I've got quiet <laughs> left today. So I'm just going to bang this out really quickly, because it's typical that big news stuff kicks off when I can't really record about it. Uh, so a group of seven MPs, nearly double what people were expecting, have broken away from the Labour Party to form their own independent group. They're not forming a new political party, they're just going to be a group of independent MPs who work together. So no, nowhere near as, as structured a, a, a thing as another political party. Something similar has happened in the past where I guess the more modernist wing of the Labour Party broke away, uh, ended up getting folded into the Liberal, De Liberal Democrats later on, much later on down the line. Needless to say, this has put the cat among the pigeons. Now, the cited reasons are Brexit, uh, outdated ideology, and anti-Semitism in the current Labour Party. The current Labour Party, much as I think Corbyn represented a much-needed, necessary correction to the left, they've somehow managed to combine the worst elements of the old school more marxist left with the worst elements of the new school of identitarian left and that's how i think um the the anti-semitic side has managed to worm its way in because identity has suddenly become important even overriding class issues which you would think would be the the focus of a labor party from what they've said so far, I'm waiting to find a link to their website uh, to enter into this, the, the discussion of this new group. They sound good. More to the left than Blair's new Labour, uh, but not crazy pants. Um, that may seem odd to long-time watchers, because I'm pretty much as far on the left as you can get <laughs> in British politics, or indeed any politics. But I'm also a cultural and social libertarian. And the identity politics of the current Labour Party is, I think, antithetical to traditional left-wing values and to my values as a cultural and social libertarian. They seem to want to control everything. They put identity at the top of every list of importance. Um, they engage in sexism under the gaze of being anti-sexist, racism and under the guise, guise sorry, under the guise of being an anti-racism, uh, and and so on for every identity category you care to mention. This new group seems to embrace my kind of pragmatic socialism in that we need a strong country, a strong economy in order to be able to afford the things that we want to roll out to everybody. Um, I agree with a lot of Corbyn's core policies, but there's so much baggage with it that it's just impossible. Now, already this is nearly twice as many MPs as we may have thought would have left the Labour Party. And I suspect that means that we'll see others joining this group in the coming days if Corbyn doesn't successfully turn the screws on the remainder of the party. There are problems with this though. Obviously it weakens opposition to the Tories and this was a contributing factor in what kept Margaret Thatcher in power for so long and doing all the damage that she did to British society, that the opposition was split. So I can understand people's concerns and upset and cries of traitor and, and so on, but uh, the Corbynistas are going to take that to a whole new level that we haven't seen outside of ardent Brexiters attacking people who still want to remain or put things to a people's vote. So it's going to get nasty out there, I suspect. Now for this to succeed and for this to be meaningful, I think first we need more Labour MPs to quit so that there's enough of an impetus and it does perhaps enough damage to Corbyn to make him step down or, or be removed. And we need the left of the Conservative Party, the Compassionate Conservatives, the Charitable Conservatives, the Social Fabric Conservatives, like Anna Subri or Ken Clark, though he never would. You know, people like that, on that softer, wetter <laughs> wing of the Conservative Party also need to leave their party and fold themselves either into this group or create a new group. 
otherwise this is only going to help Theresa May and it's only going to help the Conservative Party. So yeah, interesting times. We're going to have to see how this all shakes down. History suggests that this is a bad move, um, at least as far as the country is concerned. And I think this just underlines all the fractures in British politics that are being brought out. But unless there is fundamental change in our system, unless we switch to some form of alternative vote or proportional representation, unless we reform the Lords, unless we consolidate our constitution into a single written document, you know, all of these kind of things, we're going to break up as a, as a country and everything is going to, to go to shit because we're too dysfunctional to rule ourselves. Um, which is ironic when you consider that that's what all the arguments have been about up until now, uh, facetiously, wrongheadedly or not. Um, but yeah, maybe if I can snatch more time, I'll follow up with some more solid information. But it's seven Labour MPs have left the Labour Party, formed an independent group, um, and this is a big blow against Corbyn and throws hats up in the air again uh, regarding Brexit. So we'll see how this all goes. Zang. <laughs>